Hi children. Hello. Welcome to your home school. This is your next session of your triangles chapter. SSLC Mathematics NCRT or CBSC. Okay. Let's start here with our next exercise. Before starting our next exercise, we are going to deal with one very important theorem. That is areas of similar triangles. What is the theorem children? Areas of similar triangles, if any theorem has, this is the theorem you need to write. This theorem has its own importance here children. So try to practice this theorem now itself, right? So let's see the statement here. Theorem 2.6. The ratio of the areas of two similar triangles. So children say me what are similar triangles when we say the similar triangles if their corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding ratios are in proportion then we can say that the two triangles are similar. So what is your first statement here the ratio of the areas see here the complete inside space we call it as a area area of this triangle ratio by area of this triangle is equal to the ratio square of the ratio of their corresponding sides square of the ratios of their corresponding sides what are the corresponding sides children try to identify here a b p q b c q r c a r p Right? So, what is your question? Area of this triangle by area of this triangle is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Okay? So, given the two triangles are similar. So, let's start our data here. Given, what did they give here? Triangle A, B, C. Similar to triangle, what is another triangle there? P, Q, R. If the two triangles are similar, what you can say? We can say that corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding ratios are in proportion. So, let's write here. So, if you want, you can write it here. Corresponding angle, angle A, angle P, angle B, angle Q. Angle C, angle R. You can write it here. Angle A corresponding to angle P or angle B equal to angle Q. Angle C is equal to angle R. And their ratios are in proportion. So children, what can I write here? A, B by PQ is equal to BC by QR is equal to CA by RP or PR you can write. So now what we need to prove here children? Area. Area I need to prove. Ratio of the areas. So let me write it here to prove. AR is a shortcut for area. Or if you want, you can write area of triangle ABC by area of triangle, area of triangle PQR is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Which side can I take here? You may take any side. So here in your, to prove, I am going to give you the three ratios. So what you want to prove, you can decide and you can prove your wish, right? So let me write here, AB by PQ whole square is equal to BC by QR whole square is equal to AC or C anything you can write, CA by RP whole square. So, what we need to prove children, the ratio of the areas of the corresponding triangles. Area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to square of the corresponding ratios. 
AB by PQ whole square is equal to BC by QR whole square is equal to CA by RP whole square. So children try to identify here. At a time you can prove only one ratio. But if in any one ratio if you have proved it is correct. So let's start our proof. How can we start children here? I need to prove area of the triangles. So immediately what do you remember here? Area half into base into height. So to find area what do I need to do here? Let me do a tiny construction. What is that construction here? Draw AL perpendicular to BC. Two altitudes we need to draw here. AM and PN such that they are perpendicular on their respective bases. AM perpendicular to BC and PN perpendicular to QR. In construction what you are going to write? Construct or draw AM perpendicular to BC and PN perpendicular to QR. Okay. Why we have done children? In order to find the area of a triangle. We need altitudes. Right. So we start our proof with finding the area. So now consider the two triangles. Consider triangle ABC and triangle PQR. What do we know children? We know that the two triangles are similar. Right? If they are similar, the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding ratios are in proportion we know. But now what I need to find? Let me find the LHS part that is area of this triangle by area of this triangle. So we know that what is area of a triangle? Half into base into height. So we know we know that we know area of a area of a triangle is equal to how much? Half into base into height, right? So when we are writing theorem, this side we do with the statement and this side we give the reasoning. How we are writing the statement and due to which formula or which rule we are writing that we can write here in reasoning. So now consider uh, area, area of triangle ABC is equal to half into base is how much area of a triangle observe here? Half into BC into height AM. Area of triangle PQR. PQR is equal to how much children? Half into base. What is the base here? QR. QR into what is the height? Altitude is how much? P N. Okay. Half into base into height. So now what we need to do next step? On dividing. These two areas we need to divide. Why? In your question you have areas of triangles ratio. So for that reason I am going to divide these two equations. So if I divide area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to. So write this half into BC into AM by half into QR into PN. Okay. Half a half cancel. So now this multiples you split here children. How we are going to split? BC by QR into AM by PN. Mark it as first equation. Now what did you get? Area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC by QR into AM by PN. Now you should think here. Did you get your proof? No. We got only BC by QR only one time there. Means if you multiply one more time BC by QR then it will be this answer. Right. So in order to multiply what we need to do? In the place of AM by PN, we need to substitute BC by QR. Half children, 
let us see now that right so now half of your theorem is completed so next half see the children part of a triangle okay i am going to take only one part of a triangle why i know that full triangle is similar so according to that angles are equal right i have drawn the perpendicular right so this angle is equal when i compare the small triangle 90 90 angle angle equal if two angles corresponding ang angles are equal then i can say that the two triangles are similar if they are similar why i am making similar in order to equate their ratios so this ratio and this ratio i will take so when i equate i have a chance of comparing with the given ratio and then i can substitute then i am going to get your answer so let's see here so how to start a problem here consider consider triangle abm and triangle pqn observe here children i am not taking full triangle i am taking only part of the triangle abm and pqn okay so now from this what i can say here angle abm is equal to angle pqn children observe here abm i am saying do this angle end here no no if you want you can write angle abc is also equal to angle abm okay some children ask me a doubt ma'am abm or abc both are correct angle arising at b b is important right this angle is important where you end your angle letter yavish angle abm is equal to angle abc also you can say so i am taking this triangle so i'll end my letter here abm is equal to angle pqn how children by the given data right and one more angle bma is equal to angle qnp what is the angle we need angle m angle n you can say easy to remember angle b equal to angle q given angle m equal to angle n perpendicular that will be equal to 90 degrees by construction i can say this reason okay so now these two triangles are similar therefore triangle abm similar to triangle pqn therefore triangle abm is similar to triangle pqn by which similarity criteria by angle angle similarity criteria i can say that these two triangles are similar if they are similar what do you remember children corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding ratios are in proportion so let me take only these two ratios observe here only these two ab by pq is equal to am by pn have a look here ab by pq am by pn can you do anything with this if you substitute instead of am by pn ab by Q, pq do you get the answer no no it should be changed again ab by pq should be changed to bc by qr okay so how can i change okay this as it is you keep here we know what do we know children i take here we know which two ratios will take i need to change bc by qr but i have in a more ratio ab by pq so i will consider these two ratios following here how do i consider we know by the given data ab by pq is equal to bc by qr so how we are writing this children by the given data we know now compare these two 
what do you remember your axiom one you remember what is that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another so what you can say ab by pq ab by pq both are equal so i can equate these two are you able to follow children this we got by this two triangles and this ratio i wrote by the given data why in order to substitute that ratio here okay so now therefore am by pn is equal to bc by qr okay now let's continue here substitute above ratio substitute in equation 1 that will be area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr is equal to what do you have bc by qr into see the children bc by qr into am by pn there so in the place of am by pn i am going to substitute bc by qr bc by qr therefore that will be bc by qr into bc by qr two times multiplied means what you can say whole square area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr is equal to bc by qr whole square hence it is hence it is proved this is one of the very important theorem so let's have a recap here children observe carefully so first you decide not all the ratios not needed but same manner which ratio you want to prove you decide yourself right you adjust that side to be the base or you want to prove ac by pr whole square suppose you think children then what you need to do you need to draw a altitude from here this base to opposite vertex okay so if you want to prove ac on like this you need to draw the altitude suppose you want to prove ab square from c you draw a perpendicular no change just change the letters i draw the figure there i give you the hint there okay have to do okay so just let's have a quick recap of your theorem now within a minute you are going to write without saying this theorem yes or no yes you can write no is it easy or not you just have to say me whether the theorem is easy or not theorem 2.6 areas of similar triangles what is the statement the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides once again repeat with me children what is the area of a similar triangles theorem statement the ratio of the areas of two corresponding triangles the ratio of the areas of two corresponding triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides square of the ratio of the corresponding sides okay this is your statement what is the given data similar triangle set therefore given triangle abc and triangle pqr are two similar triangles that means triangle abc is similar to triangle pqr the angles not needed actually children if you want you can write there is no rule if they are similar what i say corresponding angles are equal that means angle a equal to angle p angle b equal to angle q angle c is equal to angle r and then corresponding ratios are in proportion that is ab by pq bc by qr ca by rp okay so now what i need to prove area of triangle abc by area of triangle pqr is equal to bc by qr whole square so in your proof we have given extra two ratios children okay similarly you can prove 
Suppose in your exam they may give you this ratio equal to this. Then you prove only that. No need of writing these two ratios. Suppose in your exam they have given this ratio equal to this. Oh my teacher not taught. I don't know. Don't feel. Both all are same. Similar children. There is no change. Okay. So now look here. Construction. What is the construction we have done? Draw AM perpendicular to BC and PN perpendicular to QR. Proof. Consider triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Apply area of a triangle formula. What is area of a triangle? Half into base into height. So now consider triangle ABC. Half into base BC height AM. Okay. So next area of another triangle. Half into base QR height PN. On dividing these two ratios. What happens? Half of will be cancel. What you are left with? BC by QR into AM by PN. Mark it as first equation. Half of your theorem completed. Now next what we need to do? Consider any one part of a triangle. Either you may take that side or this side. Anything you have wish children. Mr. Ol, only this side we need to take. No role. Any way you can take. First understand the concept. Then you can enjoy your theorems. ABM triangle and triangle PQN consider angle M angle N given already by construction we have said that those are perpendicular angle B is equal to angle Q how the two triangles are similar then the angles are equal therefore by angle angle similarity criteria these two triangles are similar if they are similar what I can say Corresponding ratios are in proportion. Which ratios are in proportion children? AB by PQ is equal to AM by PN. I am not considering the base. I don't want that. Okay. So only these two ratios I have taken. And then I just uh, uh, remember that I cannot substitute directly. So instead of AM by PN, it should be BC by QR. How can I change that? Now see this one in your mind. Keep this one in your mind. AB by PQ and BC by QR. Is there in your given data? Yes. You consider these two ratios. And when you equate these two ratios, then these two are same. So directly you can equate those two. That is AM by PN equal to BC by QR. So this substitute here. What you are going to get? Area of triangle ABC by area of triangle PQR is equal to BC by QR whole square. So now children, I will give you a hint for these two. AB and CR. How can you do that? So now look here. First ratio what you need? ABC. And this one PQR. Same manner, draw the altitude, draw the altitude. Okay, these two are, these two triangles are similar, angles are equal, angle, right angle, all are equal. Same manner you get children. What you can say, AC by, uh, what, you, what is the letter you are going to take? M, N. So observe here, when you are able to prove up to here, same. But letters will be changed. So how we are going to do area of a triangle ABC? Half into base into height, half into AB into CM, half into PQ into RN, then half of cancel. You are going to get some ratio like that. Okay. So next, consider this and this triangle. Make them similar and again these two ratios equate. Then you are going to get this. Then again compare this from the given ratios and try to equate that and you are going to get the answer. Okay, A, B, B, C, C, A and another will be R, P. A, B, C, P, Q, R. So, observe here children. So, same manner. Homework for you. What is your homework? Prove area of this two ratio is equal to only this you take. And one more theorem. This ratio only this you take and prove. Same and one theorem, you can write it in three ways. Children, I hope you are going to do this, right? So, hint, I have already said for you, same manner, no change. What ratio you need to prove? 
that ratio make them to be their basis then same method no change only the letters will be changed will you do this one ab by pq you take these two figures children and try to prove same method you are going to get the answer now these two figures take for ca by rp okay you try this if you have any doubt you can ask me okay let us start your exercise 2.4 first problem let triangle abc similar to triangle def so immediately what do we need we need to draw two triangles what are the two triangles a b c and another triangle d e f okay observe here these two triangles are similar what did they give the two triangles are similar and their areas areas look here children this complete area these areas respectively okay let me take a b c so 64 cm square is the area and this area is how much 121 cm square if ef is equal to 15.4 cm find bc this is the question asked for you children what is that in two triangles areas given and one side given you need to find the missing side of another triangle so immediately what do you remember here you remember the theorem what is that theorem areas of similar triangles what is that so let's start our solution here by theorem by theorem 2.6 what you can say children here area of triangle abc by area of triangle def is equal to what is it when bc by ef whole square you can remember this is a theorem statement if i take these two triangles this is a statement now let us substitute what is area of triangle abc in your given data you you can write children so look here given data you just write i forgot to write given area of triangle abc is equal to 64 cm and area of triangle def is equal to 121 cm square and bc is equal to question mark ef is equal to 15.4 cm first add this given data children then by theorem what i can say i have done the statement here now substitute area of triangle abc 64 by 121 is equal to bc by 15.4 whole square so observe here children this square i need to remove if you need to remove this square what you will do apply other side square root so now apply square root of 64 by 121 is equal to bc by 15.4 so this root if you want you can split do you know children root 64 what is that children 8 it will be root of 121 it will be 11 you can split the root next step and then write this bc by 15.4 now send this one this side and then find bc that will be bc is equal to 8 by 11 into 15.4 children this point shall we convert here point remove then divide by 10 you write so now 11 ones are 11 fours are yes then now 2 fives are 2 fours are now multiply 14 fours are how much here 56 by 5 that will be again cancel children 5 ones are 5 5 ones are 5.2 therefore 
BC is equal to 11.2 centimeters is your answer. What is BC is the question asked. Therefore, BC is equal to 11.2 centimeters. Children, let's see the second problem. Diagonals of a trapezium A, B, C, D with A, B parallel to D, C. Look here, I have drawn a trapezium here. A, B, C, D is a trapezium. A, B parallel to D, C. Intersect each other at the point O. See here, the diagonals are intersecting at a point O. If A, B is equal to 2 times C, D. Okay. Find the ratio of the areas of triangles A, O, B and C, O, D. So, what do we know children? The sides ratio we know. What is that? A, B is to C, D. A, B is to C, D. C, D is C, D. So, that is these two sides are in the ratio 2 is to 1. Okay. So, then we need to apply the area of a triangle formula. So, now have to apply children here. So, first we need to prove these two triangles similar. If they are similar, then I can apply a theorem 2.6 statement. See children, before problem, they have given that two triangles are similar. If they are similar given, directly we can apply the formula. But in this problem, they did not give us any similar triangles. So, first we need to prove these two triangles similar. Then you can apply the theorem statement and the ratio of these areas is equal to square of the sides. Then with that we can find the area. So, now let's start our solution here. Consider or given you can write here children. Given A, B, C, D is a, is a trapezium. A, B, C, D is a trapezium and A, B parallel to D, C. Okay? And something given here, what is that something? A, B is equal to 2, C, D. Okay? So, what you need to find here? Area of triangle A, O, B by area of triangle C, O, D is equal to question mark. You need to find the ratio of this. Okay, this is your given data you need to find. So, let's start our construction. Construction, what is that we have done? Join B, D and C, D intersecting at O. If you want, you can write. Or you can skip that line. Proof, let me start our proof. Cut. Okay, let's start here. How we are going to start here, children? Consider, consider triangle AOB and triangle COD. Okay, consider triangle AOB and COD. Why did I consider? In order to prove the two triangles similar, I have taken this. So now, now I can say that angle AOB is equal to angle COD. How children, what is the reason? Vertically opposite angle. Subject here, this angle is equal to this angle. It is opposite, vertically opposite to one another. So next, uh, you can take any angle children, either this equal to this or this equal to this. How you can say alternate angles between two parallel lines. So let me consider here. O A B angle is equal to O C D by alternate angles between two parallel lines. I can say that two angles are equal. So if two corresponding angles are equal, then what I can say children? Therefore, triangle A O B is similar to triangle C O D. Right? By angle angle similarity criteria, I can say angle angle similarity criteria, I can say that the two triangles are similar. If they are similar, what you can remember children? The corresponding ratios are in proportion. 
so let me write here i will take only let me take here ratio ab by cd okay corresponding ratios are in proportion but i don't want all i will take only one ratio so now what is ab children 2 cd cd is cd but look here this will be 2 is to 1 what is ab is to cd i got it as 2 is to 1 ratio now what i need to prove here if the two triangles are similar the two triangles are similar then by then by theorem area of similar triangles theorem or theorem 2.6 i can write here area of triangle AOB by area of triangle COD is equal to what you can write here, children. AB by CD whole square. What is AB by CD? Remember, two by one whole square. That will be two two is a four by one. Finally, what is the area of the two triangles AOB and COD? It will be four is to one. Therefore, this is your answer. Area of triangle AOB by area of triangle COD is equal to four is to one is your answer. Okay, children. With this, we are going to end our session today. We are going to meet in our next session. Thank you all.